You are live, David. Great. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I think everyone's excited. Well, I'm excited. I am too. I am. You don't know the effort I have put into. This is like the wrong time of the year to take vacation. The new academic year starts July 1. So I'm right. basically leaving the office when I shouldn't be. But I've worked tirelessly to make sure everything's wrapped up so I can be gone two weeks. To get ready for it. To get ready for vacation. So looking forward to it. Good evening, everyone. I think it's time to say hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. We are live. This is Scott and David. Now, Scott is performing live from the 1925 bungalow in beautiful South Jersey, right along the Delaware River, across from the city of Philadelphia. And my friend Texas is, where are you, David, in Texas? I am. Your um, exact address. East side uh, in Houston, Texas, which is just north of hell, as hot as, hot as it is today. <laughs> How hot is it in Texas? It's uh, officially 94 with about 75 to 80% humidity. Ooh. Pretty hot. So it feels like nearly 100. So now in the northeast, once it gets cold, we turn on our heaters and the heaters stay on all winter long. Right. But in the summer times, our air conditioners are on and off. I'm assuming where you are, air conditioning gets turned on and it stays on like the whole. It, it stays on. Um, if you have a dual system or some people that have window units, you can kind of play with it a little bit. Uh, but. Yeah, for the most part, it's on. And then you just kind of just bear, you just grin and bear it. That's all you can do. So do you get respites from the heat? Like, does it get cool enough to no, open it the stays, house and turn off? Once it's hot, like now, there's there's no relief unless there's rain. Okay. And then after the rain, it's like sticky hot because yeah. you get the respite unless you it feels great if you're sitting there getting soaking wet but and then once the once it's gone and the sun comes back out it's like a sauna and it jumps straight back up to the 90s or mm. 100s whatever it is yeah so you get the dew point 72 to 74 with the rain and then it gets jumps back up 20 yeah. degrees and there's no relief until honestly mid October mid October to early November We'll, we'll reach hundreds easy early October. Just stays hot. Hot and humid. Hot and humid. Well, as Will and You Rogers, went to school the South, so you know. Yeah, I did. And um, I think it was Will Rogers who said everybody always talks about the weather, but nobody does anything about it. I think that was a quote from... <laughs> Will Rogers. Everybody talks about the weather, but nobody does anything about it. I don't know. Well, we want to welcome everybody. We're having a live sale. It's called Two Chapped Lips. No, that's not right. Two Chaps, not Chapped Lips. And um, it was David who wrote to me earlier today, and he said, it's summertime. Well, I don't think it's officially summer yet, but can we go casual? I said, Yes, let's go casual. I see you flashing that little slide rule thing. So we're casual tonight, but we're having a live sale. We're going to sell 20 items, right? 10 items each, back and forth. David's going to go first. Tonight, I'm hosting it on my channel, but we do this the second Monday, right, of each month? Second Monday of the, every month. Second Monday of every month at 9 p.m. Eastern, but we flip-flop from channel to channel. 
So if you are not familiar, David is only half of Vintage Uprising Texas. And tell us about your other half and the shows that you guys do. Yeah, uh, so I joined my wife who wanted to venture and uh, sell online. So we created Vintage Uprising Texas. So I sell with her religiously <laughs> Wednesday night um, on her channel, Vintage Uprising Texas. And then we have, uh, I guess, two, she has two satellite shows. One's just a conversation of various topics with Martha, with, with Martha, Martha. conversation. And then they have a live sale when late Wednesday afternoon, I believe 2 p.m. Central, where they sell some items prior to Tammy and I's sale Wednesday night. And then every now and then we'll get together with our friends and do something every other month or every two or three months with uh, other channels just to mix it up a little bit. So it's a good time. And the channel, again, is Vintage Uprising Texas. Um, it's now 9.06, and I will go ahead and tell you that anything that you purchase from me tonight, I will ship from the South Jersey, Philadelphia area. Remember that the price does not include shipping. That's extra. We both use pirate ship, and we ship as cheaply as we can or as inexpensively as possible. We don't charge extra for any shipping supplies or anything like that. So keep that in mind. And if you have a pipe, if you win something, um, you'll email me uh, or David. We don't ship together because we're in different states. And I'll put my email address in the chat box somewhere. And it looks like Jeffrey Reed is on the spot. Jeffrey has put me in there. I don't know if Jeffrey has your information or not, David. But well, my email's below me, so. You, that, you see, if I had been, you got it. So I appreciate that. KP is also moderating, and I appreciate I appreciate KP Poodle, um, Jeffrey. I don't know who else who else is here moderating, but I appreciate that. It looks like Tammy might be as well. And so, you'll just send us your real name, your mailing address, the email that is connected to your PayPal account. We'll send you an invoice, and then get the things out in the mail to you. What am I forgetting? Uh, just that I'm shipping from Texas, obviously. Okay. Um, if you send your information, we'll get it packed up. If you're waiting, the, one wrinkle from our normal cell is that Tammy and I are going live tomorrow night prior to the trip. So we can get everything invoiced, uh, packed and shipped out before we leave Thursday afternoon. So that's the plan anyway. So if you buy from here and wait till tomorrow's, so we'll, we'll combine the shipping, but if not, then if it's just tonight, send me your info and we'll get it shipped out. All right. That's it. So, David, I forget. Are we – do I call your items and you call mine? How do we do – I forget. It's been – I don't know why I'm not remembering how we do this. Um, um, when we do the countdown. Yeah. Uh, I'll count it down and I'll help you out and just, well, you, I'll count down yours. You count down mine. Well, the thing is, if I'm showing mine, I'll probably be big and vice versa. So when I count down normally what I do, because of, there's a lag. Yeah. Uh, people have various lags. So y'all bear with that. Depends on your internet. Uh, when I get down to three, two, one, I'll flash three, two, one. Yeah. And then we'll look at our YouTube feed. Because we're looking at two feeds now. Okay. We have the luxury of StreamYard, but then we see the YouTube feed, which may be a little bit slower. When we see the two, one, someone will hit the stop. Okay. We'll each call our own. Right. I'll type let's in my that. own stop. You type in your own stop. Okay, we're good. All right. Let's get the party started. David, you're first. Are you ready? I am ready. I'm going to start. Oh, wait a minute. Sure. Me... Go right ahead. I'm going to start. Nope. <laughs> with, I'll, I'll narrate while we go. Uh, three, what I guess the moniker is uh, black or amethyst glass. Two are from Ellie Smith. I'll show these. Both have 
the uh, silver banding on these two styles. And then I have the third, which is a more deco style, which has uh, the four feet here. And they're roughly the same size. So uh, approximately, that's why I had the ruler out. These are approximately six inches tall. This one's slightly higher, just about six and a quarter. And these are, let me put this in the chat. These are going to be offered at, and these are, let's see. This is going to be choice. So I'll put that in the chat, $16.00. And bid if you'd like, or just hold at that number if you want. But it's going to be choice. Uh, one price gets you one vase, or you can take all three at the one price. Just depending on where the price ends up at. I'll show each one individually. This is uh, what's considered like the uh, ear-handled vase. Very deco. You can see the reflection. But it, yes. it, uh, in the sunlight, it just the amethyst, the purple just pops. This one has more of a, uh, not the Grecian key, but uh, the little button design on top. Where it bulbs on the bottom. Elderly Poodle is at 27. Thank you. And the third one, very deco. I love this one. If this one, if this thing was larger, I would probably keep it. But four footed. Yeah, I like that one a lot. I don't know. Can we? Can you call a base sexy? Absolutely. This one's sexy. They're asking, are they opaque? Uh, opaque. These are opaque, the Ellie Smith, classic opaque. Um, the Maker, I'm not sure about this deco style. Um, it's just as, it's not as, I would say it's a little, it's another Maker, so I wouldn't say it's classic opaque, but it's definitely, uh, it's definitely 30s, late 30s, early 40s. And just just the classic, not the classic opaque, but um, like Ellie Smith, but just as gorgeous. Probably this is probably my my favorite outside of the uh, trophy loving cup style. You know, the, you remember the one you gifted me? It's I right do, above me. Yeah, I do remember that on the top shelf. That one, that's probably my favorite. But I'll start counting it down for a uh, choice of these three. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I'm going to refresh on the YouTube feed. And, of course, I would get an advertisement But as I refresh. I know. I'm just going to. Go ahead. No, I'm waiting for you. I see elderly poodle at 28. Now, she needs to tell me which one she wants. The ear handle. Oh, that's right. This one or the bulb bottom at 28, or if you want one, two, or three each at 28, let me know. She says the swoopy one with the handles. Swoopy? I guess it's this one. Is this the swoopy one? Swoopy poopy. She raised her own bed. Okay, I'll honor the 27. That's fine. Oh, okay, I didn't see it. 
these are coming up. I'll talk about these as soon as David. Sure. So the one with the handle, she's going to grab that one. Okay. So that leaves the other two if anyone's interested. Can you see who your second runner-up was? Let's see. I can't. It hasn't been too far. Jamie Grafton, do you want either one of the other ones, this one or this one at 27? The one with the banding or the four-footed? Hello, Attic Fair. The one with the four footed. Jamie will take the four footed. Okay. And this one's available if someone's interested. Just let me know in the chat or uh, email me. I got it, Jamie. Thank you. Hi, Christy. Tippy Winks. Go ahead, Scott. Okay. Are we ready for the next item? And the next item is this little set right here and i've got three acro agate little tiny flower pots we're going to start off at 15 dollars. all three of them one money 15 dollars. i'm looking for an opening bid now two are the exact same size these two that one is just a little bit bigger they are marked on the bottom made in usa acro agate which is a type of glass which kind of looks like slag glass so i'm looking for an opening bid of 15 dollars for the three little guys the two little the two smaller ones adam has the first bid at 15. i appreciate that they have holes in the bottom so if you want to put one marigold in there you can water it and it'll drain um made in usa they do have the acro agate mark on the bottom, which is difficult to see, um, but it's there. It's a swirled, you got the swirly white and the jadeite in there. And it's just, once again, glass, not pottery. So the two little ones here. And then this one is just a little bit bigger. You can see if I put the two little ones inside the larger one. Uh, so made in the 1930s and 40s this is all pre pre world war ii era christy so, tippy winks is at 17. uh i think i see sylvia lee at 20. Okay. Hit, hit, um let's hit ref, let's hit uh at 20. i said okay. and uh you know what i cannot find my ruler i had it here a ruler yeah for pity oh wait a minute here it is and i you know i measured these I should have, oh, for pity's sake. Jody Davis is at 22. Hold on. Let me get this. Sure. Okay. The little one, the little ones are just over two inches tall. The larger one is two and a half inches. So no chips, no cracks. 1930s glass acro agate in this green color that we love. You know, that's not going to glow either. No, these don't glow, but really cute for the kitchen. Put little plants in them and whatnot. It looks like Sylvia Lee, Sylvia Lee might be the highest bid right now at 23. And I'm going to count these down. I don't know why I my stop keeps disappearing. But there we go. So we're going to count these down. Here we go. Jody Get that bed in there. Don't you wait. For me to count them down, you're going. You, you might be too late because of the lag. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Now, as soon as I see me go three, two, one on my computer, I'm going to hit stop, and I just put the stop in right there. That should account for the lag. And that's it. All right, move over here somewhere. What do I do with them? Put them on the floor so I can trip on them. 
That's right. You don't have to have. It looks like Jan Marie Burnett. Is that Honey, right? Honey, yeah. At thirty. At thirty. Yeah. All right. Let me bring David back, and then I'll write down Jan Marie. And Jan Marie, I want to thank you. Now, David, before you, um, uh, let's see here. Someone was asking about: Do you have to have? Can you answer that question, David, while I write this down? They're asking: Do you, you don't have to have a PayPal account? We prefer PayPal uh, as as sellers, as I guess an antique dealer. We we that's the easiest form of payment for us. You don't have to have a PayPal account. You can pay as a guest. We we'll send an invoice to your email address that you send us with your information, and you can pay as a guest using your credit card. You do not have to have an account. Very good. So that's so the I, easiest way I can explain it. it. Right. And I've had people before say, well, can I send you a check or can I PayPal only? And a lot of that for me is well, like with taxes and everything, you know, we pay tax on all of this. And sometimes folks don't realize that, but um, everything that we sell um, is taxed. And so it's all on PayPal. It makes it, it's just one place, one step. So you don't have to pay, have a PayPal account. You can pay as a guest. We'll send you, but tell us so that we know to send you a, a special link and you'll get the invoice. Okay. So it was Jan Marie. Thank you, Jan Marie. And now it is back to David. Go. Next, I am offering at, I'll just say it and then people can, instead of typing it, just to save, um, I I love these. I can't believe I'm selling these. But I have, this is going to be a choice. These are two large bowls uh, carved of horn. Ooh. Let me show each one. Hey, Margo, Brad, how are you? Very. These are very irregular. Just based on the material that they come from, you know, this is this is art. This is, and here's the other one. No two are the same. These are not machined or, well, they, they use some type of machining, but it's more hand handwork done with the with this material i mean it's horn so these are these are handmade so these are starting at thirty dollars and it'll be choice i don't know how you pick from each one this one's more irregular i think that has more of a more what of a kind of horn character, they're character. do you know what kind typically of typically these larger items uh bull bovine cow uh some of the darker horn from asia you're looking at the larger animals that with the larger horns uh going to like yak uh these are probably i would say these are like one of the larger european i'm not sure but you can see the ir irregularities in the material. Yeah. And do they polish these? Yeah, but the the grain, just beautiful. Some parts are thinner, some parts are thicker. And of course they use, they craft these, they craft these on what they have. So each edge is not going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And I just love how this side just, dips down that's not a crack that's just from the material mm -hmm. they've used and i'll show this other one which is slightly more uniform if that's what you're looking for and with the smaller material and just to show an example if they use a smaller piece of horn they can get it towards it's just more uniform this is nice like a nice bowl a smaller like catch-all and they can make it more uniform if they're making a larger piece they've got to just work with they don't want to use whittle down or shave off too much of the material so you're looking for an opening bit of 30 david correct okay and i don't think i see any yet unless it passed me by let me back up
Asian water buffalo, latcha, okay. Yeah, it is very organic in shape, Jeremy. See, they're not going to fit perfect in there. I mean, they do fit because they're the same size. Yeah. These are these are both seven and a half inches wide, two inches tall, approximate, because it's not a perfect, it's not a uniform cut or shaping. Yep, I don't see any bids yet, Dave. Okay, so we'll move along. All right. Well, it's not Christmas in July, but did you enjoy D's Christmas in June? June? I did. I, I got to catch a little bit of it. And uh, what I've got, I was going to hold on to this, but I said, you know what? Go ahead. Why not? Look at this. Now, you know, well, let me just go ahead and tell you. We're going to start at 20 bucks on this. No chips, no cracks, no repairs. And it's nice and clean. It's a winking Santa pitcher. And now this goes back to your right after the Second World War. We're back in the 50s on these. There's no mark on the bottom, but a lot of times there was a, um, oh golly, I started to say Norelco. That's not what I'm trying to say. Napco. What, Napco. Was, what was Norelco? That, that was would help you get a clean, close shave. Okay. Napco. <laughs> We're going back to sort of the Napco Japan era of the 1950s on this. And I'm going to ask an opening bid of $20 on the Winking Eye Santa Pitcher with some old toilet paper stuffed inside for some reason. I don't know. I don't it's think it's toilet paper. at 20. I don't think it's toilet paper. But, you know, it's six inches tall. Oh, and wow. look, at, look at that 1950s Santa. You just, when you look at that, it screams... Um, oh, what was her name? Who sang Rock Around the uh, uh, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree? What was her name? Oh, come on. Who sang that? Oh, Doris Day. No, it was not. <laughs> Brenda Lee. <laughs> Can't you hear the on the old Peggy? It wasn't Peggy Lee. Pamela, you know better. Pamela, we have several I, bids. Uh, the last bid being many at 35. Am I going to see you in Kentucky, Pamela? I think so. Uh, Br Peggy Lee. She was thinking Brenda Lee. Can't you hear Brenda Lee on a scratchy old 45? Now, you know, you find the little mugs all the time. We just bought a set of 45s. We don't even know what it was a carrier. So we haven't even gone through the 45s to see what those are. Now, you better see if there's some Brenda Lee in there. Look at the condition. Now, you know, the, the red is cold painted and it scratches off a little bit. And so there's a little bit of loss and there's a tiny bit of loss on Santa's nose, but not much. We don't have cracks. We don't have chips. We don't have repairs. We don't have uh, dirt from like crazing. No, there's a little, glow. No, little <laughs> crazing to the glaze. But once again, six inches tall and you you. It's not as easy to find the the pictures as it is the little tiny winking eye mugs. Classic 1950s, uh, six inches tall, excellent condition. Go ahead and get it. It'll be ready for, you know, use it as a vase, of course. You know, do whatever you want with it next Christmas time. So I'm going to look right now and see who our high bidder is, and then we'll count this. We'll count Santa down. And David, can you help me out with that? I'm not yeah, seeing. Yeah, I'm looking. The last was okay. uh, Mini at 35. Okay, Mini at 35 is the high bid, and I'm counting it down. Here we go. Ten, Margaret now at 36. Nine, eight, ho, 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 seven. Couldn't resist. Six, five, four, three, two, uno and that's it and now on my computer here i'm looking down here on this screen and there we go there goes the stop and the stop oh ooh, ooh, wait a minute it's in okay the stop is in on the santa picture and it, jay demare at 40 looks, back in the day finds robert at 41 41 before the stop so robert 
in Louisiana who is back in the day fines at 41. Robert. Back. KP's calling it. So KP's going to put the winner in the chat. Uh, oh, are we going to stop calling it, uh, David? No, no, no. We, we, we can. She can. Uh, KP can just confirm if that if that's okay with you. That but is. Okay. I, I do see Robert. We we do agree. It's Robert back okay. in the day. Finds. Yeah, just because I, you know I'm not sure what KP sees on her screen. Okay. 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 But yeah, that's. They fine. prefer we call it. They prefer that we do. That's fine. Okay. So uh, it's forty one dollars. Thanks, KP. Forty one dollars back in the day. And Robert and Lori, I just put a box in the mail to you guys yesterday. Hold on, let me and thank you so much. Thank you, everyone who bid. Thank you, Robert and Lori. That's on its way. You've got another couple of boxes that are going to come to you this week. They're they're in the mail. That was at 41. And let me bring back uh oh, hold on here. I'm pushing the wrong thing. Oh, my word. One of these days. Okay, there's David, and now let's make him big. It's your turn, David. Thank you. Back in the day. Kapow. Kapow. There I am. Okay, I am starting this at $50, and it's seven pieces. Well, actually, it's eight. Ooh, seven pieces. No, it's seven pieces. Anchor Hawking, Manhattan, Relish Tray. Oh. With the ruby red tray. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have a fit. You know, I, a million times I pass these up until you told me what one of them were. Now I see them all the time. Then I, start, I started rescuing everything, and then I had to stop because I just started seeing them everywhere. But – Finding these in the wild, the centers, the relish centers are the hard, one of the hardest things. Yep, that's the hardest um, thing. And I found three within a span of nine months. I gave you one. Yep. Um, but here's one. I've kept one for my set because at some point we're going all Manhattan in the kitchen. Um, but here's the tray. The five ruby inserts in the center, starting at 50. Listen, everybody, I'll tell you what. I can tell you this. If you try to go out and piecemeal this together, you're going to spend more than $50 to piecemeal it. Um, and there's the whole thing ready to go. Classic Anchor Hawking 1930s deco. I love it. Pretty, pretty. I, I am missing one pink insert. They don't have a set to sell with the pink. Oh, with the pink. You've I got a I minute. I only have four pieces. Mini but, has, uh, Mini is I have in the clear me. and the pink, but I don't have my clear set. Thank you, Mini. I see Mini at 50. Yeah. Uh, I don't have the clear set. I have to find, I believe, one, two, three clear. In no, I think I have the clear inserts. I need a center for sure. Mm -hmm. But one pink insert I'm missing. And like I said, this stores very well. These will stack away if you'd like. Right. Um, this was the hardest one to find because yeah. you got to get it right. It's got to have these beaded feet. No, that's the real thing. It's not the same as the Park Avenue that was made in the 80s. It's a different, they were different molds as well. Still anchor hawking, and you can mix those patterns, but that looks great, David. Yeah. Mini has a bid at 50. Mini, you're going to get a great deal if you get it at 50. I'm telling you that. That's fine. Uh, I will count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7. And I'll move it as I count down. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we'll count for the lag there. Yeah. And I'll refresh. Oh, that's right. Give me a second. I think it might be Lisa Cooper at sixty. Okay, well, let's see. I'll let you. I'll let you see. Hopefully, it. we agree. Top chat, live chat, skip ad, and Lisa Cooper at sixty. 
Okay, Lisa, thank you very much. And my email is right there. I will mark you down on my sheet and you can send me your information. Thank you. And thank you, everybody who's here tonight. We've got 314 people, David, in the house. And it's so good to have you with us. And as usual, you know, we're so glad that you're here. And, and we've said this before, whether you buy anything or not, you are welcome to watch, enjoy, throw darts, throw spitballs, you know, scream at the TV, whatever you want to do. Place a bid. Don't place a bid. We're, we, it's always fun to have you guys here. And we try to read the comments and say hello as best we can. Um, if you weren't here, David and I would be staring at each other. That's right. And that would Which get wouldn't be a bad thing, but it's, it's well, fun to David, have fun. It's a nice, it's nice having a party. It is. It's a party. So having said that, I'm going to show you what I'm going to sell. Let's, let's hide David for a minute. How do I do that? I got to go up here and I need somebody here doing my, uh, I'm going to mute myself while well, I uh, put away the man. He's going he's gonna to put himself on mute. I'm not sure what he's doing to put himself on mute. I, but I'm putting the Manhattan away, so I don't want to make too much noise. All right, whatever. I don't know. Now, look. I've got for you... Uh, well, I'm so glad you're here, Allie, Monty. How you doing with that restaurant where? Did you make it back? Did you and your friend have a good time? Uh, come to New Jersey? Come on to New Jersey. Now, look, this is the end of this. I got eight of these, eight of them, and we're going to start out. Wait a minute. Am I... Oh, you know what? I forgot. I completely forgot. Woo! Everybody tonight who wins something. Oh, that's right. I cannot believe you get for free, unless you tell me in your email that you don't want one. <laughs> when you send me your information, if you don't want one, tell me. Um, you are getting a free RCA nipper stuffed animal. These are clean, unplayed with. They don't smell like smoke. They're not dirty. I've got 10 of these tonight to give away. You're going to get one for free. They do say RCA right there. And then it says clipper. We know the dog was called nipper. Obviously, they couldn't get around copyright issues. And so they somehow, whoever made these, probably somewhere in, I don't know, overseas, uh, it says clipper. Does it say clipper or chipper? Chipper. I'm sorry. It says chipper. I can't read. Can't hear and I can't read. Uh, but you'll get one of these little dogs, which was the mascot, right? The famous painting, his master's voice, the trademark for RCA Victor. I've got one to give to everybody tonight who wins an item. Now, if you don't want one, tell me in, when you send me your email and I won't give it to you. Otherwise, you're getting one. All right, back to these. We're going to start out at $19, and I've got a set of eight. Eight. Eight of them. They stand three and a half inches tall. Let's take a look. Three and a half inches tall, and we're going to ask $19 for the set of eight of the mid-century. Once everybody saw these on Mad Men, people went nuts for this type of mid-century barware. Okay, is it marked? No. Is it Dorothy... Thorpe? I don't know. I've been learning a lot about Dorothy Thorpe, and a lot of you are helping me. Uh, her glass, she didn't make any glass. She decorated. Denny's at 25. Thank you, David. She decorated the glass. She didn't make it. And sometimes it is marked or signed, but a lot of the, a lot of the Dorothy Thorpe glass had paper labels, which comes off, as you know. So, I cannot tell you that it is Dorothy Thorpe. I can say that it's in the Dorothy Thorpe style. And you decide. So they have really thick bottoms. They're nice and clean. The silver is good on all seven of them. But the eighth one, and I don't know why, but somebody wore it. Somebody's lipstick had something toxic in it. You know, somebody went oh, man, with some bad lipstick. And they took some of the silver off of just one of them. 
All right, just that one has some silver loss. The other seven of them, and there are eight all together, the silver is perfect. So there's a little silver loss on one. Yeah, but you get eight of them. They match. They have no chips, no cracks. They're nice and clean. They are three and a half inches tall, and it's ready for your mid-century barware. I'm getting fuzz all over the place from those nippers. All right, where are we? It looks like we are somewhere. Where are we here? Mini, mini bid twice. She's the only bidder at 25 and 35. The rim is not gold. It's silver. It's silver. Is it coming up gold looking? It's silver. No, I see silver. It's okay. catching some reflection from the light. That's all. Okay. Yeah, they're silver. And they have my fingerprints all over them. And we will go ahead and count these bad boys down. I've lost track of where we are, David, so help me out when we get to the bottom of it. Um, you have one bidder, and she outbid herself, so I leave that up to you. <laughs> no, well, she gets it for the lowest bid that she okay. put in. All right, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, in just a second here, put in the stop. Why does it keep doing that? All right, the stop is in there. And it may just be that one bidder. So let's scroll back up and see who that was. That was Minnie. Minnie the Mermaid? Minnie, M-I-N-N-I-E, at 25, if you're going with her lower bid. I'm going with her lower bid. Thank you, Minnie. Minnie, you might be new to me. And if you are, I am so glad to have you. Don't forget to email me at, is my email in there? Thank you, Jeffrey and the other moderators for putting that in there for me. Let's bring David back so you don't have to stare at me. Minnie, don't forget to send me your information at Old Curiosity Shop 99 at gmail.com. I need your name, your mailing address, and the email address associated with your PayPal account. And then that way I can send you an invoice. Congratulations and thank you so much. Minnie, it's either Minnie the Moocher or Minnie the Mermaid. <laughs> Minnie the Moocher. Do you know those references? All right, here's David. He's next. Ooh. This would have went great on your polo. So here's a brooch starting at $22. Let me get it close. Very nice detail. Nice colors. I'll show you the back in a second. Honestly, I don't know why Tammy's getting rid of this thing, but those colors are beautiful. They want to know does it glow? It's popping. And <gasps> I'm so glad you asked. You got a bit at 22. It definitely does glow. I don't know if you can see it or not. Wow. But it definitely does have pieces in there that have uranium. All right, David, you're at 27. Now you're at 30. Thank it does match my shirt, KP. And uh, the production staff has lowered the lights for me. <laughs> oh, production staff. <laughs> I'll have to, that means I'll have to go to the negotiation table when they uh, ne renegotiate their contract. So I oh, see Minnie at 30. Yeah. And I think everyone can tell now that it glows. So I will, there goes that clock again. <laughs> I have a Revere electric clock that's chiming. I see Justine at 32. 
and I will get the lights back on and get in for more detail. This thing, well, Justine is at 32. Thank you, Justine. I will be uh, counting this down, starting at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We'll wait for the feed to stop going. And bear with me while I refresh. And you can lock your eyes on Scott's eyes while I refresh. Okay. Is it Sylvia Lee at 36? I see Sylvia Lee at 36. Sylvia Lee at 36. Woohoo! Thank you. Thank you, Sylvia. Congratulations. And, and my email is right below my face. So feel free to send your information to the email. It is right. Thank you very much. Face. How about we go back to Christmas time? Look at what I've got for Christmas time. I'm looking for an opening bid of $15 and you get both of these. You ready? Go ahead. Are you ready? Now, these did not come from the dollar store yesterday. They come, they came from the five and dime a long time ago. These are old blown glass ornaments. That's right. And I've got two of them for you. One price. You get both of them. Let's take a look at what you get. You get the bird. Now, I know he or she is missing the little fiberglass that would come out of the tail. All right. Go to your craft store and get some feathers and stick them up in there and you're all set. But this clips on and look at the old clip. Now, this is not plastic. And this is not brand new. This was not made last week in China. This was made a long time ago, most likely in Germany, where um, the early ornaments come from. And I don't know if the clip is showing up. Are you seeing the clip? Probably. No, we can see the clip. Yeah. So it's, let me turn it this way. Is that, the bird pink? The bird is pink. Pink, pink, you stink. <laughs> The bird is iridescent. The bird is all different kinds of colors. And again, there you have an empty. The reason why there's a hole in the tail is little fiberglass reeds would sort of come out of there, which is missing. So you can do whatever you want with that. But check it out. No chips or cracks or any damage on the little bird. Little springs here for the feet. And it's a clip on. I don't see marks on it, but... Um, I do believe this is one that goes back to the era of the Germany era rather than the Japan era. I'm not an ex expert Christmas person. Maybe someone else is, but that's old, right? You're also getting this one with it, which has got the little glitter on the top. We have a couple of um, educated guesses that they would be German. Yeah, it, I, I'm almost, abs I'm almost certain. It's it's um, you know we all know the story about Woolworths and you know they went to Germany, Leisha Germany, and they found all the ornaments in the old days, and the, then they were made in Poland, and then they were made in Japan, and then eventually Corning made them in the USA. But the earliest ones come from Germany, and um, look at the top on that one. I think my camera gets a little blurry when I get too close. But we have no problem, uh, no no condition issues on either one of these glass ornaments, which uh, easily go back to before the Second World War. And I think Benita Taylor is at thirty dollars, and we shall wait no longer. Benita's at thirty. Joe S came in at twenty four. Joe, that means you're lagging, so you want to refresh your browser. Yeah, hit refresh. 
and it looks like I just froze there. So um, are we all good? Everybody hit refresh, and I'm going to count them down. I think Benita Taylor right now is the highest bid on the two Christmas or German glass. These are glass. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. And now I will go down here and that's it. So the stop went in there. And we'll put these two little guys. I'll let you confirm, but I see Melody Southern Buckeye came in at 33 before the stop. I do as well. Melody, Melody did all of that restaurant where get down there without getting broken please tell me yes let's bring back david melody thank you and thank you everyone who placed the bid i appreciate that thank you melody okay with father's day coming near i have an italian made so it's a box it's it's burl this is not burl wood. It's burl wood veneer. It's made to look like burl wood. Mm. It's a veneer. It has a key. It actually has two keys. This, uh, this is I'm offering this starting at forty dollars. So it's Italian and leather on the inside. Let me unlock it. Make sure I'm unlocking it correctly. Do, 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 do. There we go. Oh, well, that's nice. This, is, this will hold six watches. Uh, the lining is leather, Italian leather. It has a pocket. I have the second key in the pocket. Uh, the pads to surround your uh, put your watch on have, yeah. are encased with the same Italian leather. Uh, the bottom's lined with leather. So you get, of course, the the box, the six inserts, two keys, a handsome box, leather lined on the bottom. Um, like I said, it's not burl wood; it's a veneer and leather watch box. And this was uh, made or designed. Uh, the maker is uh, Sir Rondo Padano from Italy. It measures eight inches from front to back, and it's six and a half inches wide, left to right. So double hinged. It locks. Lock works. Um, you can see the maker sign here, uh, Italian leather. And it'd be a nice little gift for a graduation. Father's Day, a birthday, if you have a summer grad, if you've given your uh, summer grad that Rolex they wanted, this was a nice box to keep it in. Very handsome box. I'll spin it around. Like I said, I do have two keys for the box, which is a nice touch. Typically, you find these things, and there's no key. This comes with two. And this would display your watch watches nicely. And I'm a Good watch night. guy. Good night, Jeffrey. Thanks for being here. Good night. Thank you. Uh, Joan is asking for a starting price. The starting price, I was offering it up at $40. All right. 40 is starting price. Good night, Jeffrey. Thank you for being here. Oh, a Rolex collector. Yeah. And yeah, it's from Sir Rondo, which is an Italian, I guess, uh, jewelry and accessory uh, case maker. I guess they have smaller cases as well for pens, watches. This uh, they make larger boxes that fit up to eight to ten watches. This one holds six. So uh, nice size for a small dresser. 
And uh, they pad. Mini has a bit of forty. Are they padded? The little squares there. In these are padded. Yes. Uh -huh. This is okay. where you surround your watch with, of course, to store. And it's all lined with the same, same leather. So oh, I, I guess see. for those who are familiar, you just place oh, your watch here. That's a quality piece. And. He's all thumbs now. Oh, very neat. I didn't uh, fasten it, but that gives you the idea. All right, I see. All six pads are there. Two keys. The locking mechanism works. Nice. Every now and then you find something that you get and it has to be repaired, but there you go. The lid's secure. It locks. There's the key. The other one's inside the pocket. And I'll count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just bear with me, and I'll enter the stop once I see there's. I'm refreshing now. Just bear with me. I think it might be Sandra Smith at 41. Okay, let's see if we're in agreement. Uh, or is it Jan Marie at 50? It might be Jan Marie Burnett. I see Jan Marie at 50 before Sandra Smith's 41. I do as well. And Jan Marie, I'm sorry, I don't think I'm pronouncing Hun. Is it Hun Hunaday? We'll say Jan Marie. I think it's Jan thank Marie. You, Jan Marie. Uh, thank you for everyone that bid. I wonder if Jan Marie is going to give it as a gift. Hey, David, it's nine fifty-seven. We've been going for almost one hour, but we talked for the first 10. So anyway, let's not take an intermission. Let's just keep going. How about sure. we do that? Let's just keep going because um, we're about halfway through. We only sell 10 items each. And if that's OK, we'll keep going. Sure. And the next item that I have for sale. Uh, let's see here. Hanyadi is how you pronounce it. Hunyadi, okay. Hunyadi. Pronunciation of that. I've got, now let me talk about this because you, you're going to say, now wait a minute, Scott. You told us you didn't have any more of those. All right, hold on. <laughs> Before you jump on the comments and tell me off, I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I've got six of, wait a minute, that's not right. <laughs> I've got six of these. Now, listen, we're, we're going to start. I'm going to ask for an opening bid of $19. You get all six. There are no saucers. And I think these might have been for soup. Now, it is Buffalo China. And the funny thing is, all right, you see the Buffalo China on the underside? Now, I know these match exactly the turquoise and white Buffalo China restaurant wear that I got and sold recently. But I bought all of that Buffalo China from a diner that closed. These, if you watched my channel, these I bought at the Philly AIDS thrift store in Philly. It's possible that somebody donated these. I don't know. But anyway, these are not part of that lot. Um, and so, but they do they do match it. So I'm going to ask $19 for a starting bid. They look like little mugs, but they're smaller than the coffee cups that I sold before. They'll match the others exactly. Um but this reminds me of, 
you know, I don't know where you live, but we still have a lot of diner. Well, Jersey is the diner capital of America. And you can go to diners and get a little cup of soup. And it comes in a little thing like this. Right. I know all around the country, we're so used to when you order something, we get these great big portions. But um, these might have been soup cups. Uh, you can still go to diners and get soup out of little little cups like this. So I've got six of them. You can use them for coffee or tea if you want. Um, or creme brulee. I don't know. Classic Buffalo China. Mid-century. Turquoise and white. No condition problems on them. They're nice and clean. No chips, no cracks. They have not been torn up in a dishwasher. So heavy restaurant wear. Robert and Lori would probably have etouffee in there. I promise you I've got all six of them. That's four, but the other two are down here. I didn't break any. And I did buy these in Philadelphia at the Philly Aids thrift store. I did not buy these from the diner in Jersey that went out of business. Uh, so anyway, there they are, and we're going to count them down. I think our highest bid is mini. Is it mini at 20? That's what I see. Mini is at 20, and we're counting them down. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, oh, 7, excuse me, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, wait, I put the stop. I think I might have put the stop in. Wait, is it in? Did I put the stop in? I'm refreshing for you. You're very, refre you're very refreshing, David. Uh, if you'll refresh. I see Robert back in the day finds at 31 before the stop. Let me hit live chat. Is it Robert back in the day at 31? Correct. It is Robert back in the day at 31. I appreciate that. Let's go grab David. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Robert. And Robert, back in the day at 31, I got you. And it is David's turn. You have not had that hat since 1923. Who, me? <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> because you're only 32. That's right. It's all smoke and mirrors. All smoke and mirrors. Okay, I have what I can only describe as a mission style wood slat box or planter box. Yes, you do. And I'm starting I'm offering this up starting at 26. These are totally handcrafted. I guess you could say utilitarian just depending on what they needed it for yeah classic mission style it measures one foot tall at the corners you see where they styled the shorter slats as they got to the center for the design that's handsome and eight and a half inches wide so one foot by eight and a half inches you could use it place a planter in there I don't know. Someone could use it as a waste basket for dry paper. It's got a nice stain, nice staining. And just classic mission style. Uh, it looks like it may have had some outdoor use. Not much uh, because the wood is still in very good shape. So it's, it, most of its life was probably indoors, and I'll zoom in so you see the detail of the tacking used for this piece. I really like how no one has monkeyed with it, and you have a really nice old finish on that, David. It's got the old finish. Yeah. Um, the wood is old enough where it... Shows a little wear on the edging, but not where it's so not dry, cracked, or rotting. It's so it's really good wood. Um, you know, and 
these pieces are typically oh like uh things i've read where uh if they've made a larger piece then they didn't waste anything so these smaller pieces they would make little slots and make whatever they needed it for right so uh nothing was wasted and it does have that nice dark finish and no one tried to sand it and refinish it or goodness paint it white <laughs> i'll tell you what david if i needed it if i had the space i'd put it on my front porch and stick a boston fern in there that's really nice looking well if it doesn't go then i will bring it in the road and see see if you like it in person so well bring it back bring it back at the end if, you, if, you, if we don't have any mission folk here tonight. <clears throat> okay, well, just in case we have anyone working, I'll count it down from five, four, three, two, one. All right. Uh, I, I'm not. Jer, Jeremy Robbins says 36 with a question mark. So I don't know what. I'm not sure what that means. The uh, uh, offering beginning at 26, not 36. Oh, okay. So Jeremy, if you're interested at 26, just type in 26, even uh, though it's after the stop. All right. And I'll look forward to the chat. You can go ahead to your next item, Scott, if you'd like. Okay. Uh, I still have something that's Art Deco. I've got some 1930s kitchen. I've got some antique Christmas. And... Okay, Jeremy, I've got you. Thank you. You see, Jeremy? I got it. Thanks. Go ahead. All right, David will now disappear into the darkness of the green room. Look, everyone, I'm going to ask. It's dark in here. <laughs> dark and lovely. Uh, wasn't that a hair coloring? Wasn't that a commercial, dark and lovely? Remember that? Um, okay. Now look. I'm going to ask for an opening bid of $30. And what have I got? Two walnut Victorian picture frames matching. Oh, my word. No glass. All right. Go have some glass cut. If you've got your great, great granny and your great, great grandpa, perfect. Let's take a close look. Did I say late Victorian walnut? Yes, I did. We're talking 1880s to the 1890s, and it's a matching pair. This is the real thing. Look at the walnut. Now, I have already given these a beeswax polish, and I'm telling you, I sat there with beeswax. Yes, I did, and I polished them. Now, the intersection here is another wooden frame that they would cover with gesso and then they would put some gold paint on it and that's what you see here there's no glass get some glass cut but they are they will take an eight by ten picture take a look at the backs you've got the old <laughs> you know the way they used to hang them gorgeous that's the real thing but you Adam's know like 50. we're talking about a matching pair have you priced frames lately? Look. Oh, frames are ridiculous right now. This is the way all of my relatives looked. <laughs> Nobody smiled back in those days, right? Not in their pictures anyway. Minnie's at 51. Patsy just came in at 58. Look here. Look at how it's joined. Look at the joinery here. You see that? Look at that. Did you swoon over that, you wood people? Wow. Now, 
some of you don't like to dust. I can tell you right now, this is a frame that will collect dust. That's how they made them. Look how deep it is. It's like a deep dish pizza. Adam you know, is first at 60. Patsy's okay. at 65. If you turned it this way and put a bottom on it, you could bake a deep dish pizza in there. Look at how generous the, the side is. Oh, my word. That measures the thickness of it is two inches. A picture frame two inches thick. This is Victorian walnut. That's the real thing. So if you're waiting to frame those ancestors, the frames are in excellent condition. And I was thrilled when I found them. This is American walnut. And if we don't have any questions, I will count them down. Now, I will tell you that one of them, this one, as we look at how it's joined, we don't have any issues at all, all around the frame. This one, probably because of heat and humidity, and we have that here on the East Coast. We have, at one point somewhere, we had a little crack here at this inner piece there, cracked there. And then the inner piece, it's not going to fall out. It just split. Now that happens. Hot, cold, hot, cold. Yeah. Wood shrinks. It'll split. And it, But the frames didn't split. The actual outer part of the frame, we have no splits at all on those. This is where it's joined. Just lovely Victorian. And I've already, as I said, polished it up with beeswax and let me put my stop in there and we'll count the two frames down the two matching antique victorian frames okay i don't know where we are on the bids but we'll count them down we're at 80 dollars by mini i have to have one free hand okay mini thank you so much hold still hold still all right i'll hold still Pam says, hold still. Stop being, stop moving around. How long do I have to hold still? This is very uncomfortable, uncomfortable for me. I don't like to be still. David knows that from seeing me in person. Ants in his pants. I'm high energy, and there's nothing wrong with that. All of my high energy people. Go for it. Stop all this hyper. It's not hyper. We have high energy and there's nothing wrong with it. All right. He has places to be and people to see. Did I hold still long enough? Count it down. Ten. Nine. I look like my grandfather. <laughs> Eight. Seven. Six. Or my great grandmother. She looked like an old man when she got old as well. Uh, ten. When I say ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Remember, you get a free chipper, the dog. Uh, four, three, two, one. Oh, wait, I put the stop in too early. That was my fault. Forget that. I hit stop too early. Let me put it in again. I think... Now I lost the chat. Uh, oh, there it is. Show the chat. Okay. Do another countdown, Scott. Just uh, start from five. Okay. I put this. Not so I, fast. I, I hit stop. The stop went in just a second too early. So let's do it again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Now wait for your one. Uh, that's it. Okay. Now it went in right. It went in. I hit the axe. I hit the thing, and it went in too quick. So oh. we have many at one hundred. 
Many, I want to know who are you going to put in those frames? Thank you, Minnie, and thank you, everyone who placed a bid. Uh, Minnie, do you have? I really no. I'm curious though. I really, I, I love to. I would love to know who you're going to put in there. Let's bring every. Thank you, everyone who bid, and let's bring David back. There we are together. Okay. Did she say? Has she said yet? What she's putting? I, I don't see it yet. Oh, your parents. Minnie, that is wonderful. You can get glass cut for them, for these frames. That's great. And you can have mats cut. That's fantastic. I love it. All right, let's 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 make David big. Thank you, everyone who bid. Thank you, Minnie. Okay, I have. You have? A Revere Electric wooden case mantle clock. Oh, you did. From the Revere Clock Company of Cincinnati, Ohio. I love this clock. Now, the time is correct for Central Standard Time, not the East Coast. And that's the chime you've been hearing. So it's in excellent working order. Very handsome clock. This measures, and that's why I bought the long roller. This measures just at 19 inches across. And as these clocks do, it has the door in the back to set your time. The badging is here. Just a nice, handsome clock. Keeps good time. Now, this one, dust, do not dust. I would, I would probably dust this one every now and then. Uh, and I did say, yeah, uh, offering this at $36. It's got the nice hinging in the back, the handles there in the back, the original badging. And it's been chiming, chiming away during the show, during the show. So I don't know if there's a bit or not, Scott. So I will count it down. Uh, see. I'll count it down starting at 10, 9. I think there is a bit. I think there's a bit, David. Okay. 8, 7, 6. If you talking. want to keep the bit in, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I'll set this down so I can catch up with the lag and type in stop. And I'll refresh. I said, um... Go ahead and talk, Scott. I'm just refreshing. Now I can't see uh, 65 mini. Or uh... it keeps time very well. Uh, I plugged it in for the show. I have, well, it may be, no, I have 8.20 Central Time. It keeps time very well. And the chimes work. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice Westminster chime. Very pleasant to the ear. And I see many at 65, Scott. Do you see that? Uh, let me put my glasses back on. Yeah, I do. Mini at 65. Thank you very much. It's a very handsome clock. Kidney? It looks like a 
looks like a kidney shape. I would agree to that. Oh, the frames. Okay. No, the, the frames. Wait, let me bring it back. What? Kidney? Hold on. Layout. Double. There we go. It says... Patsy says you may have them if you want. It's okay. Too, too soon. Oh, Patsy, Patsy bid 89. The stop, I hit stop too soon. I hit it before the countdown. So I can either uh, re-auction the frames. Sometimes the lag messes the messes it up. But I actually hit, I hit the, um, I put the stop in about five seconds before the countdown ended. Yeah, we have to work it with two screens because yeah, if we're we went by our screen yard. Scott and I see each other almost in real time, if not real time, and then that's why we're doing the three, two, one. That way, if we look on the feed, you're looking at, we can see the yeah, one hit our stop but sometimes you inadvertently hit stop as soon as you do one without watching the feed right it's just a knee-jerk reaction so, so if you hit if you if you say if you hit stop before you watch the feed the countdown is still going so it's either let's see Minnie was at a hundred but someone came in before her before her at 90 eight that's so kind of you. Minnie said um, that she would offer that offer them to the person. No, that's fine. Uh, at ninety eight, was that Patsy? Yeah. Then it says Patsy, your ninety eight was after the first stop. So it's between Patsy and Minnie. Patsy and Minnie had the two highest bids. I don't know if I should. Well, I did say that I would, yeah, that I would actually go ahead and count it, continue the countdown because of the lag and because the stop went in before the countdown ended. Minnie says that she would offer them to Patsy for 98. Patsy, would you like them at, that's very kind of you, Minnie. So Patsy, would you like them at, since uh, Patsy has, Minnie has offered that, Patsy, would you like them at um, 98? And then we'll do some more old Christmas. I would make, make a note, if Minnie is, if Minnie is offering no, Minnie says, I'm just waiting to see if Pam what is it was it Pam? Not Pam. Okay. Let's wait for a second. I'm looking. Yeah, I know what you see, everybody. We can see that. David and I can see what you see. That's nice of you, Minnie. Uh, we're waiting for Patsy to see if she wants them at 98. Now Pat you're all being so nice. Now Patsy says no, let Minnie have them. Okay. No, there was no 80. <laughs> who who bid 80? Patsy, you were after, but minor is, but Minnie is graciously letting you have them. All right, let's, what was Minnie, what was, um, no, Minnie's highest bid was 100. Okay, Minnie says, Hold on. We're waiting for it to come in. Okay. Oh, the autocorrect. Autocorrect can get you in big trouble. Um, so I'm just going to keep watching this. Is it? 
we're going to go ahead and go with mini. Okay. Uh, and Patsy, I'm going to find you another set. Not these. Did you make your note, though? Who? What? Did you make your note? What note? Just for the final winner. Yeah, I, I guess we'll just leave it at mini. Okay. I think they're still they're being very nice and letting each other. Um... Okay. Okay. This. This next set is a Christmas set, and I think these go back to the... Thank you, everyone. That was my fault because I hit the stop before the countdown ended, so that was what confused everything. But if, if, if you guys are okay with that, we'll move on, and we'll just go... We'll, if Patsy says okay, we'll go with Minnie. And if you guys change your, change your mind, let me know, and I'll switch them. No problem with that at all. Wait a minute. Let me hit... The solo lay. Okay, there we go. I think these, it looks like these go back to the 30s. Um, not 30s, um, the 70s. It's kind of hard to see, but I it seems to me I remember, these are Christmas, and I'll show you each one of these. It seems to me I remember that uh, putting like some kind of granulars, almost like sugar. Well, it wasn't sugar. It wasn't candy, but. We put something in here and then put these in the oven and baked them. Not shrinky dinks or shrinky whatever they were, but there's I have a lot of these uh, Christmas forms, ten dollars. Okay. Now it doesn't have the little crystal things, uh, but we'll start off at ten dollars for these. You might remember making these when you were a kid. And these are all Christmas. And I don't know where that 79 cents comes from. And that's not what I paid for them. I don't remember what I paid. But you get a candy cane, a Santa Claus head, an angel, a, uh, what is it? Shoe. Not a shoe. What am I? I can't think. Stocking. <laughs> You get a snow a snowman, uh, a Christmas tree, a candle, uh, a uh, bell, and then the last one is a wreath. So what is that? It's one, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine of them. Um, and I don't know if you can still get. Do you remember making these at Christmas time, David? Uh, the I do not. I, I They probably <laughs> kept me away from um, the oven or fire when I was little. Oh, I, I remember making these and putting little crystals in there and they would melt. And then it would turn into a, no, it's plastic, not metal. No, they're plastic. And the little crystal things that you put in there, it says decorate with enamel model paint, glitter, ribbon, quilting, paint, beads, trim, pom-poms, <laughs> etc. And then the funny thing is on the back, you can see all the different things that you could get. And there's the magic mushroom and the unicorn and the hot air balloon. So classic 70s, kind of like sun catchers, I guess. But these all have a Christmas theme. And they're called Stain, A Frame, uh, Eccentro Craft Fun Forms, Create Brilliantly Colored Glass-Like Ornaments. So I don't know what you would put in there these days to make, but you crafty folks are crafty. Yeah, the frames are plastic. And it's an opening bid of, what did I say, $10 on these, what did I say, how many of No, it's all, you get all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and there are nine of them. There's that clock. All right. No takers on the Christmas, or Christmas ornament makers. 
Well, we have a bid. We do. Ten. All right. Let's put, then let's count them. We have a bid at ten, so we'll count them down. Oh, I see. ML Minter. All right. Ten. Yeah, put acrylic in them. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Waiting for the stop. Waiting for the stop. It's in there. I think these were at. Um, then I remember something called Shrinky. Was it? Were they called Shrinky Dinks? I think that's what they were called. And let's bring David back. Is it Mini again at twenty? I see Mini at twenty. I see Mini at twenty. All right, let's put this in. Mini, mini at twenty. I think I see R. Atkinson Fox coming up, or something like it. Is it R. Atkinson or Bob Atkinson? It's ain't no Bob. Wait, I, <laughs> not me. I want David. Bob or Bob. He didn't like he didn't like that name, so he just put his first initial. There we go. Oh, that's a good one, David. Promenade. Thank you, Minnie. I'm offering this beginning at $70. It's in the original frame. I'll turn it around in a second. This is uh, Atkinson's The Promenade. Sorry about the lighting. I'll tilt it a little bit and close in so you can get the detail of the frame. Oh, is it Fox? It is a Fox? David? Yes. No issues with the glass. Some minor issues with the age of the frame. And I will work the frame around so you can see the detail. Again, I'm offering this starting at 70. And if there's another portion of the frame you want to see, let me know. But I'll try and get as much of it as possible. Do you have dimensions? Um, I will. Just give me a moment. Oh. It's the one thing I didn't measure. While everyone's looking at that, I'll measure it real quick since there is a lag and just bear with me. Okay. Um, we're looking at 23 inches wide and 16 and a quarter inches from top to bottom. And here's the back. So you can tell this has not been, no one messed with this thing once they framed it. That's the original backing. David, like can I ask a couple questions? Sure. Does it have any does it have any foxing or any water damage to the print? Let me look. Doesn't look like it. No. This is okay. This little image, this is on the glass. That can be cleaned up because I can feel that. Now I'm gonna I don't know what you would call this, Scott. You tell me. Uh, look at the clouds above the promenade. So from the midpoint, from the top of the cloud, in this area, I'm going to bring this in. You can see. Let's see if you can see some of that real tiny spotting. Very faint. Yeah, just a tiny little bit of foxing, but not bad. Okay, is foxing you said? 
Yeah, foxing is when humidity gets in there and you get a little okay. brown. You get a little brown. Well, we're in Houston. Yeah. Um, there's going to be humidity. Plus, this was an older house at an estate so where I found it. And I could not believe it was there. Um, I'm going to zoom as much as I can without knocking over my laptop. So it looks, from what I can it's see, very it faint. minor. Yeah. And it's hard to find find them without just a little bit of okay, there's no water damage okay very nice and the colors look good it doesn't look faded it doesn't look like it's faded at all no uh well i don't know if they staged it wherever they staged this it looked like it was still on the original wall and mm -hmm. the living room had one large uh i guess three pane oops i <laughs> wait a minute let me go back and get David again. David, come back into the, um, I lost you. So come back into the green room in his moment of glory. Get back in there. I think, I'm not sure. Is he back in there yet? I'm waiting for you. There he is. Hold on. Uh, here he comes. All right. Sorry, sorry about that. You got okay. preempted in your moment of glory. He's back. Okay. Continue. My fault. Wait a minute. What? I see you. What's wrong? I hear an echo. I don't hear any echo. <laughs> Are you in there twice? <laughs> I think David is in there twice. Let me remove you. Are you okay now? I don't know. <laughs> I think you might be in there. I are you in there twice? Well, if I got knocked out, how am I in there twice? I don't know. You should be okay now. Who's on? <laughs> Do something. Something. <laughs> yeah, you're back in there. Okay. But I, I, I didn't you see hear me before. Now I hear. I can. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I can hear you. This is a strange night. Okay, wait a minute. What? Wait, where did you, where did he go? I didn't do anything. I did nothing. David, where did you go? They're going to kick us off YouTube. Let me go see if I can find him. Hold on, everybody. He's not in there yet. Isn't this awful? Well, we we went casual and look what happened. Now stay in there now, David. Echo. What are you talking about? Do we have any beds? <laughs> <laughs> Can you see him? Can you see him? Can you hear him? Can you hear me? I can hear you and I can see you. Okay. Oh, my word. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Start all over again. So, what have you got? An R. Atkins. <laughs> <laughs> What's the what? David, are you there? I'm here. All right, do something. Radio Hill wants to know what's the contact. It's different for each one of us, Radio Hill. Thanks, KP. Um, go ahead, David. What was the question? Yeah, it's, it's different for all of us. My contact information is right there below on the bottom of the screen. Just email me your information at vintageuprisingtexas at gmail. And thank you. KP put it in for me. Thank you, KP. I know. I don't know what's wrong. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. 
All right, go ahead with that. So I will count this down. I don't know that we have any bets for this. Am I gone again? No, I see you. Okay. <laughs> and I'll count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Yeah. I don't know what happened. I'm not sure. But I think I am really lagging now. I think this is bizarre. David, at one point, are you, can you see me? Yeah, I, I'm just refreshing now. Give me a You're second. You're very refreshing. At one point, I had you on my screen twice. Like I know. Did you I saw your, that? Did you see yourself twice? Yes. It was uh it's like when Spider-Man saw himself and they're pointing at each other. Never in my life have I ever seen that happen on a you know, well, show. back in fourth grade when I was in StreamYard, it may have happened again. Uh, let's blame it on the 95 collapse in Philly. I don't know what to say. I don't know what. Maybe it's the atmosphere. Maybe the smoke from Canada. I don't know. Something really was weird there. Okay. I'm afraid to do anything now. <laughs> no, no. So go ahead. Go ahead and uh, show your next item. It's a baby. Okay. Let's all hit refresh. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you now. Okay. My next item is a 1930s kitchen lot. Let's do that. We're almost, I promise you folks, it's quarter of 11. We're almost there. Is anyone okay? I have a 1930s kitchen lot of one, two, three, four, five items. You get all five items. Uh, hold on for one money. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for an, op an opening bid of. No, I thought Jenny was asking about the print. I'm not sure. I'm kind of lost right now. That's all. Huh? Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to look for an opening bid of $20, $20 on this antique 1930s kitchen lot. What will you get in the lot? Here's what you will get. You will get that and that and that and that. And that, now let's go through them again. What will you get for $20? You'll get an old cheese grater. This is old. It says made in the USA on the bottom. I guess it can fit over top of a bowl if you want. And then whoosh, 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 made of metal. You get that. You get this thing, which I think scoops melon balls. And it's got nice green depression era paint on it doesn't that scoop melon balls yes all right you get an old-fashioned little tiny mixing cup i don't know who made it doesn't say on the bottom but that's an old one and i can tell by the way the glass is made that's a little tiny thing it's only one cup in size in glass and then i love you know a little czechoslovakian well this one's germany it's a creamer but it's from the 30s, and it's got that sort of airbrushed 1930s colors, the paint on it. See? The little chicken or rooster creamer. And an old kitchen jar with an old lid and little embossed things on the side. And uh, I don't know either. 
on the bottom here. So it's a lot of 1930s kitchen things. The opening bid would be $30. And um, not 30, I'm sorry, 20. Which includes the jar. Don't forget the free, keep forgetting these. You get the jar. The rooster creamer, made in Germany in the 30s. The melon ball scooper. The old measuring cup in old tiny glass, little one. And the cheese grater in that little 1930s kitchen lot. And I see no bids, and that means we're moving on. So let's go grab David. Um, how do I get him? Is he still? I'm afraid if I go get him, there's going to be like five of him. No, there's only one. You have a bid at 20. All right. Well, then I'm going to count it down. You ready? Here we go. Thank you. We have a bid at 20. That's back in the day, and we're going to count it down. Put Nipper in the jar and keep him there. All right, we're going to count him down. Should we grade Nipper? Great Nipper? That wouldn't be nice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the stop went in when it was supposed to on the 1930s kitchen lot. And it looks like Glinny 18. You see Glinny 18, David? I think that's I who I have before your stop. Is it Glinny 18 at 45? Correct. Okay. Thank you so much. And I appreciate that, Glinny. And I think Glinny is a new name to me. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Let me write this down. So you'll email me at oldcuriosityshop99 at gmail.com. I need your name, your uh, mailing address, and the email address associated with your PayPal account. And if you don't have a PayPal account, let me know so that I can uh, send you the invoice through PayPal and you can check out as a guest. And you don't have to send your information to me tonight. You can, if you want to, you can wait until tomorrow morning. I won't be doing any invoices until sometime tomorrow. So thank you and thank you everyone who bid. And now it's back to, <laughs> oh my word, it's back to David. Thank you, Glenny 18 I appreciate that. Thanks everybody who bid. So we're almost coming up at two hours, and we have a few items left. So just a few more. Uh, I'm offering this beginning at sixteen dollars. I guess best described as a metal, I guess catch-all or trinket dish. Uh, the belly sits rests on the tabletop with two feet at the front, and let me grab this box just to give you an idea. So smart little design, shape as a shell, very light, metallic, um, doesn't have a foundry mark or a maker's mark. Again, this is starting at 16, but uh, Nice for a beach house, or if you just have that theme in a either a bathroom or restroom, or a kitchen, or if, um, anything nautical, that would fit in nicely. But it'd make a nice small catch-all, or uh, for coins or trinkets. And it measures six and a half inches wide 
and or lengthwise and then from top to bottom from my finger to thumb is four inches and it looks to sit about an inch and a half from the back from the bottom here to the top i'm always looking for somewhere unique to put my trinkets i use a leather catch-all on my desk and it's got it's got a ton of stuff it's catching everything lately little italian leather catch-all here so and then i have these like i said the the italian box that i love if you want something covered i pick these up whenever i find them but uh, this is metal and soap dish yes I don't see if there's any interest. I'll count it down quickly. It's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I think you do have a bid at 16, David. Okay. I'll refresh. I may just have that one bid. I think I think you do. Live chat. And Robert, back in the day, finds. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll, we'll get that to you. Okay. I've got two more things left, and this piece right here, if uh, I can put myself on solo. Did I do it? I think so. Uh, this is a really pretty piece of depression glass in the pyramid pattern. I was thinking um, Tea Room by Indiana, which it's not, but I, I knew that, and I took a second look. I said, no, that's pyramid. Look at this piece. It's got no chips or cracks on it, uh, no damage at all. Very Art Deco, very 1930s, and I'm asking a starting bid of $19 on it. It's in the crystal color. Look at the diamond uh, handle at the top. You can see it's in four parts. I'll turn it that way and let you see it. The pyramid pattern, which I mentioned a little bit earlier, but you might not have been watching at that time. Uh, this was never produced as a as a tableware set. In other words, it wasn't uh, a dinner set or a luncheon set. So it's not a divided relish. This was um, a bridge set, entertainment set, snack set, snack set. There were no plates, no cups, no saucers, no creams, no sugars, nothing like that. And so this was probably meant for nuts and candy and that kind of thing. But you've got four divided uh, spots here for it. And uh, nice and clean crystal, meaning not lead content, but clear glass. And that's what you say when you get this old clear glass from the 30s. But no condition problems on it at all. I like it in this color, or lack of color, which is crystal. It's nice and heavy. That's a very, gorgeous piece. Very Art Deco. So I think Terry Trahan is at 31. Elderly Poodle's at 32. The measurements, well, it's nine inch, eight inches across. I don't, I don't really need my ruler. All I have to do is that. And so it is eight inches across. And you've got this four compartments. And I, I think the handle is my favorite part. So... Ready for all of your snacks. <laughs> or you could put French burnt peanuts in all four compartments and be done with it. Shall we count it down? I think my stop is already in there. And David, I think we're at 45 with Terry Trahan. Correct. And we will count down this beautiful pyramid glass. That's the name of the pattern. And so 10. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I hope it shows up pretty well on the camera. Oh, it, it's brilliant on the camera. I think I see Terry Trahan at 55. That's who I see. And I appreciate that. I just did a refresh. Terry Trahan at 55 before the stop. Okay, Terry, thank you. When I come back, I've only got one thing left, but it's old Christmas. Let's go get David. Where is he? Where am I? I don't know where you are. That Who was am so I and where? why am I here? That was so bizarre when I had you on there twice, David. I was flipping out. So uh, the last pair that I'm offering is more Manhattan. It's pink, creamer, and sugar. Ooh. So this is going to start at $24 for the pair. Um, you don't see a lot of pink. That's all I was shocked to find those uh, the the glassware I found a few weeks ago. But I, I stum stumbled upon this at a market Tammy and I went to a couple of weekends ago. So this is a nice Manhattan sugar creamer. Starting at twenty four, and there's no flea bites. There is a you know these were these have seams, so you're you're gonna feel um, there's a little bump here, but it's not it's not a chip or a flea bite. It's just yeah. from the manufacturing. Case P says it was nice to see you twice. Oh, well, thank you very much. It was it was nice to be seen twice and heard twice. Always fun times in the old curiosity shop. You never know. One sale will have to do a butterfly collar disco night. <laughs> I don't have any butterfly collars anymore. Oh, we will find some. We will find something. Pink, pink, you stink. All right, Patsy, I hear you. I hear you, Patsy. I'm, I'm going to get you some. Don't you worry. I got you. I don't know if there's any bids in there or not. Um, I'm running. I, I'm a mouse guy, so I'm having to use the, the finger pad and not my mouse. I don't see any bids on that. The, yeah, this is complicated when you have two devices going. Oh my gosh, if you've got two devices going at once, right? It's like chewing gum and riding a, uh, a horse at the same time. Well, I will count it down in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I think there is a bit of 24, David. Okay. I'll enter the stop. Let's do a quick refresh. And we may have that single bid, so. Okay, Jenny Mac, thank you very much. Uh, you can email your information to me just on the bottom of the screen. Vintage Uprising TX at gmail.com. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Scott. Tree in the box. Uh, let's see here. Okay, let me, uh, hold, I'm sorry, let me go back to this. The clock. Does that mean it's 11? Yes. Well, we're going to end on time because this is the last item. I think. <laughs> I 
So we're on time. Let's see. Christmas tree lamps. You're still there, David. I'm still here. Um, okay. So the last thing that I have is this box and tree. I'm trying to update here and move things forward. Okay, there it is. Uh, and I'm asking for an opening bid of $10, and you'll get both of these. And they they both probably date to the 50s. And the box says Christmas, well, the box has one end empty. And then the other end says Christmas tree lamps, General Electric. Isn't that neat, the box? I love old boxes. Cardboard box. There's nothing in it. And this would just be for decoration at Christmas time. And then the bottle brush tree. Uh, it's sometimes the glass ornaments fall off. So it's kind of hard to tell, you know, how many were on there originally and how many have fallen off over the years, but it's pretty good. Sometimes the bristles fall off, but then on this one, you can see it's in pretty good shape. So we've got some, we've got a lot of the uh, Christmas uh, or, uh, balls, mercury balls on there and it's flocked with whatever they flocked it with. And the tree is eight inches tall. Uh, it may be missing a few of its pieces, but uh, pull it back all the way. But I think it's in good condition overall, considering. Oh, especially if you're doing a nice little vignette. That's yeah. perfect. So I know they reproduce these. You can find these new, reproduced. This is an old one. And it's probably, it doesn't have any mark on it. The base is wooden and painted white. And it probably goes back to the 30s. I'm sorry, to the six, uh, 50s or 60s. Um, as well as this old GE box probably being from the 40s or the 50s. Again, that end is empty. <laughs> um, but I have a little china closet, a desk out here in, in the living room. And I like to put old things like this and make little, I guess, you know, little vignettes of old timey Christmas. Sure, yeah. So, so there Barbara it is. said that they like the scent of old cardboard. Oh, old cord. Old. And Elderly Poodle said, stop by my storage room. <laughs> ah, very good. <laughs> So I think the high bid is $12. I can't, I'm not sure. Is the high bid 12? I think so. I think so. And I'm not talking about the time. I don't know if they know the time or the bid. S 2018 at 25. S-T-O-P. All right, I've got stop in there. All I saw was 12, so... Glenny 18 just came in at 25. Oh, okay. Yeah, old books smell really good. Let me back this up again. All right. So we'll count this down. This is the last item. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one on the Christmas the bottle brush tree and the old box, the old cardboard box. Okay, get back 
Okay. I'm refreshing just in case. Okay, just in just in case. Uh, is it Glenny eighteen at twenty? I said Glenny eighteen twenty five and Melody came in after the stop from what I see. Glenny eighteen at twenty five. Okay. I've got it. No, I didn't sell the popcorn uh, maker. The popcorn maker was was um, not for t not in tonight's sale. Let me bring everybody back here. I do have an old popcorn uh, popcorn maker from like the late seventies or early eighties. Thank you. I got you, Glenny. 18. Okay. That was my last. That was it, David. I think we did it. 20 items in two hours. That was it. That was it. It's 11 o'clock. And for those that missed it, uh, are I guess you're going to keep this on your channel. If anyone wants to go back and see if any items that were missed, they can always oh. email me. Yeah. Do you want to show? You had a couple things. Was there something you wanted to show? You're oh, no. It was uh, uh, the R. Atkinson Fox print and then the uh, the uh, horn bowls were the two items. Oh, you want to show this again, David, in case? I'll just show it really quick. Oh, no. Go ahead. I know it's getting late. Should I? Let me make you big. Okay. Just really quick. There so you I go. had the two... Bowls carved from horn, both offered at uh, well, I'll say 25 each, 25 or 50 for the pair. These are hard to find when you find them, get them because retail they're crazy. Um, I'm just offering here at the chance to let you guys get these. So, 25 a piece, these again measured at seven of half seven and a half inches by two and they're not perfect measurements because they're irregular carvings and then also the atkinson fox print in frame sorry about the glare and this was offered at 70 dollars if you're interested in that and those are the only two items thank you scott oh and this one for choice, if interested. This amethyst glass, Ellie Smith. And I'll offer this one at the, the last bid was, uh, the lowest second bid was, uh, I believe, $26, $27. Hey, David. Yes. Minnie is asking, did she, I'm assuming it's a she, get the clock? Minnie? Yeah, Minnie says in the chat, did I get the clock? Minnie got the clock at 65, correct. All right, I just highlighted that. I think that is correct. Okay. I had Minnie at 65 for the clock. Did I get the clock? Did, okay. See that now? Okay. I got it. I'll, I'll answer in the chat. Yeah, I think it, it, I put it up on the... Uh, okay. Mini, Mini got the clock. Okay, I see. You put it in there? Got it. Very good. Oh, for the clock. That's it, Scott. <laughs> that's it what's next <laughs> wait let me uh lay out okay we're, is it back uh to the way it was before are we back i see the back okay. of your head hey don't forget everybody who uh 
won something from me tonight gets for free, unless you tell me you don't want one, you're getting a little nipper the dog. Well, it says clipper or chipper, chipper, RCA. Uh, you're getting him in the uh, box with whatever it is you win. They're clean and they're new. Just something a little fun that I was able to get at an estate sale. And I want to uh, pass these along uh, for free to everyone. Uh, unless you tell me that you don't want one. And if you get one for free and you don't want to play with it, then you can give it to your grandkids or, or give it to your cat or your dog or your poodle or whatnot. Uh, thank you, Minnie. Okay, I see. So Minnie, send, remember, David and I are in opposite ends of the country almost. So if you won something from David, write to him. And if you won something from me, write to me. Right? It's it's uh, two different. Okay. Good night, Lisa the RN. Good night. Yeah, I'm up early tomorrow too. <laughs> Clipper is his, is his offspring. Okay. Are there any questions? No I don't questions. see. Uh, we will be. There's no one. Each other soon. So safe travels, and uh, we look forward to uh, sharing our venture with everyone. We'll we'll do some recording and get some stuff out there. I think for the most part, I believe it's it's vacation time, so we are going to try to relax a little bit. But uh, we'll definitely keep an eye out for things that you might be interested in purchasing so we'll see we'll see what the we'll see what the future holds should be a fun trip well drive safely i'll see you soon and thank you for joining us everyone glad you came tonight uh i will not be here next monday night doing a live sale so a week from tonight there will be no live sale for me I'll try to update you, and I might squeeze one in before I leave town, and I'm not sure if I can do that or not, but I'll try to keep some videos going and uh, next week, <laughs> and maybe there'll be a drop sale in there somewhere, but I will be back again. Just stay subscribed to the old Curiosity Shop and... Um, I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay, that's it, David. Thanks a lot. Yeah, just to mention, we uh, Tammy and I, instead of Wednesday, have our live sell tomorrow at 8 Central. Oh, tomorrow night at 8. Okay. Right. I'll try to join you guys tomorrow. Well, right. try to relax. You don't have to, but try to relax. If we see you, we see you. If you see me, you see me. That's it. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Melody. Thanks for joining us and for being here tonight. Glad you were here. Can you buy a puppy? I have 20 more of them and they'll come back again. So we'll see. They'll come back again for um, a live sale coming up at some point. But there won't be one next Monday night because I won't be here. So I'll let you know. Thank you for asking, but I'll have more of these available, Patsy probably just give you one. All right. David's ready to go to bed. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs> so long. Thanks for watching. And hold on. I just hit end. And.